I'm Julie Stubbs. I work for Natural England in the New Forest and the South Hampshire team. Um, I lead on Bremer Marsh SSSI and also the whole of the River Avon and Avon Valley in Hampshire. Um, so it's my responsibility to make sure that the Bremer Marsh SSSI is in favourable condition. We're here today because we have an invasive plant species um, called Creeping Water Primrose which has somehow got into one of the ponds on Bremer Marsh and it's important that we um, make sure that this plant is eradicated from the site uh, for lots of different reasons. So there are several different plants that could be mistaken for Ludwigia, one of which is the amphibious bistort. So you can see that the leaves of the amphibious bistort and the Ludwigia are very, very similar. <clears throat> but the best way of telling the difference, obviously, is during the flowering season. Um, and you can tell that there's a very big difference between the bistort, which has this small pink clump flower, um, and the Ludwigia, which has a big yellow flower. Um, so that's that plant. The other plant that's very similar as well is the water forget-me-not, which also has a very similar leaf. Um, although on the forget-me-not leaf, it's harder to see the side veins on the leaf than it is in the Ludwigia. And again, you've got a very, very different flower. So there are several subspecies of Ludwigia, um, and it is quite difficult to tell them apart. Um, this one that we have here will either be peploides or grandiflora and um, you need to use the flower to tell the difference um, between the two um, but whichever species, subspecies it is um, there are two quite distinct forms of the leaf um, you've got the one form which is very elongated and then you've also got um, the floating form which has a much rounder oblong shaped leaf impacts of Ludwigia on Bremer Marsh. The main reason why Ludwigia is going to be a problem on Bremer Marsh is because it creates a dense mat of vegetation which outcompetes a lot of other plants on the marsh. This site in particular is designated as a triple SI um, because of its vascular plant assemblage and there are some rare plants here including one plant of which this is one of the only sites in England, Brown Gallingale. So it's really important that we make sure that we protect that plant from an invasive species like this. Because the Ludwigia is well adapted to growing in all kinds of conditions, that means that it can outcompete lots of other plants which might be more sensitive to, to conditions. Um, it, it, because it grows in such a dense mat, it reduces the level of light for plants trying to come up and grow from below. So, so that has quite a serious impact on plant growth. It also affects oxygenation in the water, um, which can also have an effect on not just plants, but also invertebrates, maybe fish, if there are fish in the ponds or, or in another water course. In France, for example, this plant has cost the government millions of euros uh, where they've tried to eradicate it. And it grows so rapidly um, that it can cover an area of up to three or four hundred acres if it's left to grow for, more, for around five years. The other problem that it could have is on recreational activity. So, for example, um, boating, um, bathing, fishing, any, any kind of recreational activity like that could be impeded by the dense mat that the plant forms on the watercourse. And then, of course, another problem would be that it could cause potential flooding um, by clogging up waterways with, with this raft of vegetation. The management of the Ludwigia will be carried out using three treatments of the glyphosate and the top film. Two treatments will be carried out this winter 
probably about a month apart and then another treatment will be carried out probably next year as a follow-up um, just to make sure that we've got rid of, of all of the plants um, and after the summer we should be able to see what's growing back or, or what isn't. So the contractors are here and they're going to start spraying glyphosate onto the affected areas using knapsack sprayers. They've also got another product um, which is a top film, soya based top film, which helps the glyphosate to stick onto the plant and means that um, the glyphosate has longer time to work.